Now let's talk about how you can use any information on the internet and put it to work for your job. Imagine if you could pull any chunk of text or data or information off any web page and dynamically input it into your workflows like your templates that we talked about or into spreadsheets, forms, or anywhere that you type on the web. Well, here's how to do it using site info. Let's talk about it as info, but really what we mean by that is any text or content that you can find on a web page. They kind of make up these little Lego bricks of information that stack up together and allow people to learn and pull information from all sorts of different places. And so what we're going to do today is talk about how you can make the information that's on the internet the most useful to you. Let's look at one example of a place that you might find information. A great example here is LinkedIn. So this is my LinkedIn page and you can actually see some information here like my name, where I work and other key data. What Magical lets you do is actually pick the info you care about and label it so that you can use it over and over again in your workflow. So if you remember how we call up Magical to go to work, it's by clicking this little button in our bookmark bar and that calls it up right there. So when you click Magical to open it or if it's already ready to go on your page and you just click the green M, you can actually see a list of the information that's already populated for this page. Now for LinkedIn specifically, which is a really well-structured page, Magical already has a ton of information laid out, but maybe for your use case, you want to add something specific, maybe something like where someone went to university. So the way that you might do that is by going and clicking add more. You can actually add more information that is called labeled information into Magical. So we'll go ahead and you can already see it's highlighting some keywords that it might want me to use. But I actually want to use something that's not highlighted. So we can hover over where I went to school and it says label after selecting. So let's go ahead and say school name. Perfect. So now we've labeled this a school name and it'll populate on this page and on similar pages going forward. Using information from any page, you can then populate templates with placeholders. You can move this information into spreadsheets and you can even really easily complete forms or uh, fill out information in Salesforce or uh, Zendesk. Really the most common information as you can see is here, but if you ever need any more, we now have a way to quickly add info. So the next thing I'm going to show you once you've saved information is how to put it to work. Let's talk about where you might use it. I might be building a list of prospects or I might be doing research into competitors or I might be trying to just gather context on a situation I'm handling for support. Let's talk about one of those examples specifically. Let's say I'm building out a list of potential customers for my business. I'll open up a bunch of LinkedIn tabs and now that I've saved the type of information that I want to reuse, I'm actually able to use all of that information from all of these five open tabs really, really easily. So now let's talk about how we move information for all five of these tabs in one fluid motion into a spreadsheet for me to do research or for me to take my next step in my workflow. We're going to click into Magical under the Transfers tab and click Transfer to. I'm going to make a new spreadsheet and I'm going to use all the tabs available to populate a table with all the potential prospects for my business. And you can actually see that by labeling the information on the website is that's what allows you to have headers or titles for each of these columns and where available, it'll populate the columns with the information found on each of these pages. You could see how at one point you might have copy and pasted each piece of information into the spreadsheet. And now we've put like a hundred or plus pieces of info into this web page in just one click. Using this method, you can create labels anywhere on the internet with structured information like Facebook, Airbnb, your internal tools, and really easily build a database in a Google Sheet or move it into in a form that you use for your business. Now, another way that I might want to use labeled site info is in placeholders in messages or notes. So for example, if I am a customer support rep helping a customer with their problem and troubleshooting with them, I might want to use my template for troubleshooting. 
let's call it up. I'm gonna type slash slash to call up all of my templates, but then I'm gonna look for a troubleshoot. So you can see here, I'm able to fill out information that is relevant to this case. And it's already trying to suggest information from other tabs that I have open. So let's say we're helping Barack Obama fill out this ticket response form. So we'll say, hi Barack, your ticket number, and then I might be able to even insert my ticket number here. And I'll say, thank you for your help as uh, we work towards restarting the product for your company. So I'll just put in company for now and we can insert it. So you can see here how once you've labeled information on a page like LinkedIn, you're able to then use that information really easily in the template that you are using to help customers or reach out to customers. Now, if you, for example, also have a Zendesk page open with a specific ticket number and that's labeled, you'd be able to use that too without copying and pasting. Now using this method of labeling site info, you can actually put information that you find on the websites that you use every day to work. And again, those websites that work best are ones like Facebook, Airbnb, LinkedIn, and even your internal tools like Zendesk and Salesforce that have really structured information. Now I encourage you all to try it out for yourself and put that website information to work. Have a magical day.